Hello friends, Drives here again. This time I'm gonna talk about the hardest skill, crafting skill to level in Life is Feudal. If you thought that mining skill or tailoring skill was hard, I have a bad news for you, man. Because the hardest skill is War Horse Training. It's the hardest skill in the game. It's at least five times harder than any skill in this game. Maybe even ten times harder. It takes insane amount of time to level it, even until 90, not to mention to 100, that's just, oh my god. Uh, it took me about 300 training sessions to reach level 90, and I use power hour and tier 5 food for every single horse. And I would need to train at least 400 more to reach level 100. It's insane. Just insane. But let's start with the basics that you need to know. There are six types of horses in this game. Simple horse like this one, it can be a stallion or a horse, basically male or female, it doesn't matter. Uh, there is a war horse, it's uh, when you just start in your training session, you will train a war horse with zero level. Uh, then you can train a hardy horse. As you can see, you get this option on level 30. Then you can train a heavy war horse on level 60. For that all you need to do is just equip an armor on a, your hardy horse. Then you can train a spirited war horse. This one is trained from a high quality simple horse, stallion or stallion. Uh, you need 90 quality at least. And it's kind of random, uh, let me show you. This is a too low quality, oh, wait a second. So, no, well. Oh, this one will do nicely. Then you have uh, you need a training field. Da it doesn't matter what quality is your of, uh, is your training field. As you can see, mine is super shit. It won't affect quality of your horse at all. Uh, then you right click on it and you choose train war horse, and then you choose it. I suggest you do this instead of uh, summoning your horse and then uh, start the training because it's faster. As you can see, it, it takes like two seconds. And I will start training War Horse. As you can see, this is I got my horse training. I need to uh, finish training in under five minutes. As you can see, it's random. Uh, sometimes it gets you get to train a War Horse. Sometimes you get to train Spirited Horse. But if you don't have a high quality horse and you don't have a, a level 90 of your War Horse, then you won't be able to train Spirited at all. And of course, the sixth horse is Royal War Horse on level 100. This is the hardest thing to make in the game period. It's not just a freaking hard to train, uh, hard to train le skill that uh, that's the problem. It's also what you need for it. Uh, you need 100 quality hardy horse, and you need 100 quality ar horse armor that requires at least five Vastaskas ingots and two Vastaskas bars to make. And that also you need uh, a lot of high quality crafting stations like 100 quality drying frame, 100 quality tanning tub, 100 quality workbench, uh, 100 quality cauldron to make uh, 100 quality drain rack. It's, it's insane, it requires so much work, so much time invested and it isn't worth it. It's not much better than... Uh, it's, it should be some uh, as fast as spirited horse and as fat as heavy horse. May it's a, it's even fatter than heavy horse. But considering the hardship you need to overcome to build it to make it, and then you can still easily lose it. It just isn't worth it. But this is how you do it. I think I explained enough. Now, that's what you uh, need to know about horses. Next. Uh, how do you train? What do you need to do to actually train your horses? Well, first of all, as you probably already figured out, you need training field. As I said, quality of this structure doesn't matter, you can build any shit you want. But then you need at least 50 quality horses. Always at least 50 quality. And then you can start your training session. Then you need a field on which you will train. You can do this without field. Uh, by just running down uh, down the slope of some kind or, and then back upwards and then back downwards it, it can work a little bit uh, the key here is when you go down the end of any slope your horse stamina isn't uh, depleted as much but 
I created this training field. Okay, Jaguar started. I created this training field specifically for my horse training. It took me a lot of time to remake it to find the optimal solution. I think uh, you can uh, improve this a little bit, but I think this is the best way to level your warhorse training. So, you take uh, your horse inside your inventory like this. Uh, then you go to your training field and before you start you need to unequip everything on your character because this weight should be zero so we will take this out because uh, the heavier your character is the more stamina it will deplete of your horse you need to be naked like this then you as I said before you don't summon your horse from inventory like this you just right click on your training and you choose this here we go and your training starts after that here we go, we start running in circles, like so. I will uh, post uh, in description of this video uh, what are measurements of my training field, so you can, uh, well, repeat after me, I guess, and do the same one. The key of this training field, if you see uh, height of my tiles, is that I'm going down, down the slope like 80% of the time. I'm going upwards only here in this exact moment for like five tiles and then all the time I'm going downwards. This is why my stamina depletes so slowly and uh, said the guys uh, they changed something about horses stamina because uh, as you can see I won't be able to finish my training with one go. I will have to slow down to regain my a little bit of horses stamina. Uh, this happened in recent changes, I, th I, I, I assume, because this wasn't so just uh, a week or so ago. But, well, nothing I can do about it, so... As you can see, my horse is running out of stamina, and I will need to go do this. So we can start regaining it. It won't uh, affect my time by much, but... I won't be able to finish, let's say, in uh, three minutes. I, or even I could do it in uh, before these changes, even in two minutes fifty seconds, but not anymore. I, I think uh, maybe I'm actually better to stop. Yeah, yeah, it's better to stop because it's considering uh, stamina is regenerating much, much faster than going slowly. So. There is another thing which you need to keep in mind when you uh, work for training and you use your power hour every second matters. So you will want to regenerate your, st your heart stamina while you do it without uh, sitting down or stopping. So you will need to have either refreshing preparations or refreshing cocktails, whatever you have available for you. I, would pre I prefer refreshing preparations because they're easier to make and you don't need as much. So, as you can see, I'm almost at 100 uh, training. When you finish it, you go to your training field and uh, you just left-click on it like this. And here we go, I got myself a war horse of 85 quality. Now, why quality is also re uh, is it really important? Not it, it just, it, it's not just important because you can make a better horses or because uh, without high quality horse you won't be able to make spirited but also because uh, the higher quality of your horse is, the more speed it has and it means the faster you can actually train it. This is also quite a bit of an important tidbit, I guess. Also, guys, you can train your war horse into hardy horse. So when you have a war horse, you, you do the same thing and like so, I'm starting my hardy training session. I won't do it right now. War horse is much easier than simple horse in the uh, aspect that uh, it has a lot of more stamina, so you won't have to stop to regenerate it. I didn't have to do it on my simple horse before these changes though, but now I, I have to. Or I will need to maybe improve my training field. I'm not sure if it's possible because this training field makes you run, as I said, 80% of the time down slope, so I don't know if it, you can do better than that. I would like to see if I can start training Spirited, just so you know that I wasn't lying. As you can see, 90 quality stallion, start training. No, this is still Warhorse. As I said, it's totally random. I have no control of it, guys. Next, next, let me show you the differences, I guess, with from of every single horse. Well, 
it's not much to show, but as you can see, I, I have a war, heavy war horse, and I should have a spirit somewhere around here. But I don't see it. Wait a second, guys. Okay, here it is, guys. As you can see, its speed is just insane. 90 quality spirited warhorse, 29.5. Compared to simple warhorse of the same quality, it's 6 uh, speed faster, <laughs> I guess. Six, po 6 points faster. And uh, heavy warhorse is pretty slow. Hardy isn't much uh, better. And simple warhorse is basically as good as a horse, speed wise. Uh, now, how to make a heavy warhorse and also how to make a royal warhorse. It's actually super simple. All you need to do is you need a hardy warhorse like this and you need an armor. Uh, to make a royal warhorse you need 100 quality horse armor, 100 quality hardy and 100 skill level of your warhorse training. It's insane hard and I explained as much how to make 100 quality horse armor. Obviously, to make 100 quality hardy, you need 100 quality simple horse that you train into 100 quality war horse, and then 100 quality war horse you train into 100 quality hardy. But and then you just summon your hardy horse, and you equip your horse armor on it. It's that simple. The reason you just right click on it and armor horse, like so, and. Come on, beautiful! Voila! We have a heavy war horse with a rabbit ears. I actually can get on because I haven't leveled my lancer on this character, but you get the point. Just so you know, uh, all the uh, stats of every single horse, I will post them here. You will see them in a moment. And. Uh, because I don't remember them uh, from the top of my head, guys. And that's basically all you need to know about Warhorse training. The last tidbit that I want to mention is when you start leveling your skill uh, with, and you use your power hour, don't start your power hour with training session. First, start training your first horse, finish your training, and only then start your power hour to after when you finish up, when you basically uh, well, when you press finish, train. <laughs> this will uh, let you train one more horse per hour. So far, this is it, guys. I think I explained everything you need to know about horse, war horse training. Uh, so, thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>